just going to run you through what we've uh, had a look at in, uh, from British American Tobacco from our company updates. Essentially, on, in, in the summary, uh, we can all know that the macro environments have got the consumer under quite a bit of pressure, uh, tightened wallets, but um, it seems like smokers will get their cigarettes first and then uh, take their money on other, spend their money on other things second. So we've seen very small decreases in volume. Um, it's averaging about, about one to three percent over the last 10 years, that's per year. Um, but that is managing to increase its prices, which offset the volume decline. So the top line of their cigarette business is fairly stable, if not growing very slightly. But as we've seen in the last five years, it's gone pretty sideways, um, but it's got a very healthy dividend yield of about 8% and uh, trading at a large discount to Philip Morris. Um, on a PE, it's trading, in, it's trading at about seven and a half times, whereas Philip Morris is close to 14. The results are a little bit uh, stale. They're still from uh, the end of December. We haven't had an update since then, but as you can see the revenue was up 7.5%. That's with the decline in uh, cigarette volumes of about 5%. So you can see they're navigating these waters quite nicely. Um, but the, the important part of their business is uh, your next generation products or risk reducing products, which is growing at about 40% a year at the moment. So there's definitely a shift in focus to these products and as the uh, cigarette business will be in perpetual decline as uh, people move away from cigarettes. We recommend a buy and um, changing our mind is uh, the loss of market share. Philip Morris is coming, um, trying to take over some of the territory in the United States and uh, there's a couple of regulatory issues which they are navigating. Thank you very much for joining us today.